This looks like one of the most interesting, creative, and rugged watch bands I've ever seen. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is my Citizen Eco Drive watch here. This is a 20 millimeter lug, just in case that matters. But what this came with is like a rubber strap, kind of like this. And I just don't find them super comfortable. They're super utilitarian and rugged, but they don't breathe and they get kind of crummy and the big thing that I am getting spoiled with lately is the lack of these buckles. So buckling down a watch, if you have an Apple watch, those Alpine loops or those sport loops are really nice. It's just kind of Velcro. You put them on, you tighten them up. They're adjustable. So if you're feeling a little bloated one day, no big deal. So I saw this watch strap here. I'm giving it a second life, an open box item. And this one looked pretty interesting to me because it looked like it had kind of that alpine loop type of closure. You can see we have, what do they call it? Like a double hook fabric, because that is the generic term for Velcro. So we get Velcro here, and it has something like a nylon or Cordura type of material here. You can see that the 20 millimeter end here, is actually narrower than the band itself. Obviously this kind of flares out, so we get a really wide band, and it looks a little sporty. We get the hem sucked little tag right there on the end, says rugged right there so we know it is rugged and then the hem sut attachment piece right here so this will also attach to the watch and then we have uh, this is definitely metal so i like that because all this seems metal and it doesn't seem you know cheap or plasticky you know a lot of them can be plastic and so you can break this little buckle here and so basically what you are going to do is you're going to put this on tighten it down like this and what I want to do here is now show you how this goes on because it's actually pretty easy. What you can see here is that this will go over a spring bar and this little piece will come down just like this. So it's actually a really easy way to attach, right? So if I just go ahead and put it on, I think I can just press this on. Maybe just pull this down a little bit right there. And then it goes over the spring bar just like that. And now it's attached to the spring bar. Ooh, it's a nice little tight fit. Okay. So it's not moving around at all. And now I can do the same on this end. So actually in terms of installing this, this is very quick. I do have to pull down a little tab here on my end to get it over. Okay, super tight fit, very tight, clamping on there. I am not worried about these falling off, that's for sure. And now I can roll this up here. And now what I can do is just slide my big hand through here. And then I can just close this up like this and it adjusts to whatever size I need it that day. Maybe a little looser, maybe a little tighter, and that's what it looks like. So we get a very rugged watch band, infinitely adjustable, I mean, for the most part. Feels good, nice and wide too, and it will allow me to just adjust this, you know, if I'm putting it over a sleeve or a wetsuit even, which I'm not going to be, but just something that's nice. I can make it a little looser if it's a really hot day, and it's kind of this fabric here so maybe it'll breathe a little bit better than rubber hey if you want to pick up this watch band here that is made from metal and nylon and is that easy to install i'll put a link to this in the description below peter von panda out mm -hmm.